In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, God is one. Amen. On this blessed and first day of Great Lent, Clean Monday, we begin this journey knowing what we in the Gospel of St. Luke speaks of day appointed for us about judgment day is as the rest of scripture it is about judgment day it is about God giving us his grace it is about God giving us a chance and opportunity in the Holy Bible when we hear any passage or read any passage it is not meant to be judged it is to teach us and if listen to the teaching then it judges us God sent his son to teach and not to judge but when the teaching is over then he shall come again with glory to judge the quick and the dead which we say during the creed now it is important for us to understand stand in the Bible we heard it today in the Gospel of Saint Luke that we should be able to stand before him, to stand in front of him and Saint Paul speaks to the Ephesians and says that we should have the ability to stand And after done everything we have to do, that we should remain standing. And he continues and says, therefore, put on the armor of God, the helmet of salvation, the belt of truth, the shield of faith and the sword of the spirit. To stand means that we are given that we have been declared innocent. I bring this to you today because in 50 days we will say Christ is standing. I know we say risen, but the word is actually stand. He stood calm. He just stood up. What does this mean? Everyone else in the Bible, and if you read the book of Revelation, it says, and all shall fall down, and all shall worship. There are two things happening when we hear this. If everyone is falling on their face, it means that we belong to him, that we are submitting to him. That's what we say on Sunday. Come, let us worship and fall down. Let us worship and fall down. The word worship means to fall at someone's feet, submit. And second, in the Bible, when someone is worshipping or falling at someone else's feet, mainly God, it means that your face is on, on the floor. Why is this important in the Bible? Because if your face is according to the Bible, 
But we have to read the Bible to believe it. So you don't have to believe me. Just read the Bible. That means the judge cannot see your face. If the judge cannot see your face, this is good news. That means he's a fair judge. You could be his cousin. And he can side with you. Their message is that God will judge us according to our works, without any bias. He is fair. But he has that thing, you know, inside that makes him want to innocently. It says, for God so that he gave his only son, that all who believe should not die, should not, but have eternal life. So he, as a judge, before he was a judge, he was a father. And he wants to save his children. So he said, instead of us judging, let us teach them. Let's give them to teach them. We call that grace. Ni'mah. That he gave us another chance by his gospel. So that when we hear and when we learn, we are able then to stand. We will not be afraid. We will be able to stand being innocent in front of God. That he knows who I am. And I know who he is. Because him, the way he conducts himself, I should do the same. And therefore, the child will be like his father. And this is our hope in this blessed season that we should go unto Pascha to witness Christ standing, innocent, that God raised his son from the dead because he is innocent. He didn't do anything wrong. He was judged by the people, by Pilate, by the Jewish priests. And God overturned all those verdicts and declared him innocent to stand. And this, my brethren, is very important for us. That the only way we will be able to follow him in this resurrection is to listen to his teaching to listen to his gospel and hope that we could live according to his will. May the Lord be blessed always and forever to ages of ages. Amen.